The following program is brought to you in part by Time Warner Cable and the Madison County School System. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter, or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course, Watch all of our videos on YouTube. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Welcome to MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. MCS TV and Madison County School Sports.com present your look at local school sports. Oh, there you go, you got time. Go right. To Madison County School Sports.com. I'm Samantha Burford here with Robbie Cooksey. He's the head coach of the Lady Indians, Madison Central head basketball coach. Welcome, coach. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Let's talk about the end of the season and we'll get into district and region. But are there any special games before we get into all that? special tournament time that you want to talk about and relive before we get into tournament time? Well, I think, uh, you, you know, one of the, the bigger games for us was at the end of the year we had uh, Madison Southern coming to our place. Right. And uh, they, uh, yeah, I think it was the good crowd. It was probably, the, I think, the first time they'd beaten us in uh, uh, six or seven years. So yeah. it was a it was a good win for them. Yeah. Um, it was actually a uh, kind of a, a point for us to wake up. And, uh, you know, we were able to come back and, and play in the districts and beat, and beat them in the them. district championship. Right. So, uh, Maybe that was a little you know, motivation. Yeah, it, it worked out good for us. And, uh, you know, I think that was, you know, going toward the, the end of the season, uh, I think that was, you, you know, even though it wasn't a victory for us, it was one of those things that kind of pushed us over the top a little yeah. bit. What do you think, why do you think, looking back at it, do you, why do you think the loss? Well, number one, we didn't shoot the ball very well, okay. um, which was uh, a problem for us pretty much all year. We uh, we, we struggled from the three-point line, and, yeah. and we really struggled from the field. Um, Shade Bosley usually, uh, if, if it wasn't getting her and the ball in the paint or, right. you know, Bailey O'Brien driving to the basket, um, a lot of times we, we struggled to put the ball in the basket, and, and we knew that that was going to be an issue. Yeah. Um, so, you know... Having a game where we didn't shoot well 
and then being able to come back and have two really good district games and, a, and really a great regional game um, was a, a good plus for us to go back into the next year. Right. Well, and you've got a very different team compared to last year's team. You lost oh. some great players last year. and Yeah, we're, uh, you know, we had three seniors this year and they did an excellent job for us. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, really, even some of the seniors we played didn't have a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be, uh, you know, pretty much a, a little bit of the same thing next year. We're going to return two starters. But after that, we've got a couple of seniors that we think will play and help us, but they haven't played that much varsity basketball. Um, and then we've got some really, really good young kids, uh, two seventh graders in particular that we think um, are going to be... Hoping that they'll try out. Uh, well, we're, we're thinking <laughs> that they're really, really going to help us next year. They're going to be eighth graders, and we're thinking that there's a possibility that you know they're going to play a lot of varsity. Yeah. Are they shooters um, or? Uh, well, we, one of them's a post player, and then one of them's just more of a, a, an, a is an athlete. You know, can play inside, can play outside. Um, not a defined role just yet. So, um, we're really excited about what we've got coming in the future. We think we've got some uh, some good younger kids. We've got some good freshmen and some good sophomores. Mm -hmm. So, um, we're you know we're looking forward to the future. Right. So you must go to some of the middle school games. Do you go? Do you see yeah. the coaches? Yeah. And... Uh, the middle school games. The, the way it works, um, they play usually August through October. Yeah. So while we're doing our preseason conditioning and stuff, it gives us a good chance to see what we have coming. Um, we don't have games at that time or anything, and the season is not officially started. So right. we're able to get out and see the kids that, you know, potentially we want to bring up to play freshman basketball, JV basketball, or varsity basketball if need be. Well, that sounds good. So you got to be looking forward to it then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're always, uh, you know, you're always looking forward to the next season. You know, you take a – you're done usually in March, and you get about a month off. And uh, you know, actually, you know, this week we're going to start doing open gym and things. So, you know, you get a little get a get a little chance to recharge the batteries, and you go right, right back at it. And go right back. Well, let's talk about tournament time. Let's go into district play. Okay. Um, our first game, uh, we uh, you know we 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 played uh, model, and uh, you know we got started really really quick. They uh, have a really, really young team. They had two kids that were uh, pretty good players, mm -hmm. but we were able to get a, a nice little lead, and uh, I think our pressure really, really bothered them. And, uh, you know, we were able to get some easy baskets and transitions, some easy steals. Right. And then, you know, once you can, you know, once you can kind of get up and get a 10 or 15 point lead, you know, it makes it a, you know, other kids are able to, to relax and get more comfortable and more shots go in and things like that, you know, so. It was a good opening round game for us. Yeah, so you were happy with the play. Oh, yeah, yeah. And probably lucky to have that draw. I know it's a little weird, the drawing, the way they do it. Yeah, we're, we're one of the – I think there's there's only a handful of teams that, that draw nowadays. Most yeah. teams seed. and. Um, yeah, so what are your thoughts on that? Um, I really don't have any thoughts. However they Take want to it do how it, it is. You know, uh, Would you want it to be changed? I, I, you know, I think there's a lot of people who want it to be changed, but uh, yeah. to me, you know, it, it is what it is, it is. and we just, and you we, can't just do anything we, about we just go with it. Um, so it's fine. We, yeah. um, you know, we take the draw that we get, we prepare for it, and we, uh, you know, we're we're good to go. So right, who actually makes those decisions for those people that don't know? Uh, it's typically your athletic directors will uh, get together every yeah, year. Yeah, and I, I don't know that they even talk about it every year. I, they they may still do that. I don't know. Um, I haven't been to a district draw before, so uh, I always go to the regional draw. Never been to a district draw, so yeah. Um, uh, typically, I would say that they would ask. You know, do we want to change the format of how we're doing this? Yeah, and, and most of them probably I'm, say well, no. Well, <laughs> you've got four teams. I'm guessing it's usually a 2-2 two -two tie. So, uh, yeah. you know, I'm guessing that's usually how it turns yeah. out. Two want to draw, two want to seed. Right. So, um, you know, the way I look at it this year, we, we played everybody um, in the regular season except for models. So why not go ahead and seed? But, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Right. All right, let's take a quick break and then we'll go into region. Okay. All right, so we'll be right back with the Coach Cooksey Show right here on Madison County School Sports.com. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, 
Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. to MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. I'm Samantha Burford here with Coach Robbie Cooksey, head coach of the Lady Indians at Madison Central. Let's talk about, before we move into region, let's talk about the district championship game. Um, big game, uh, Madison Southern, as we talked about before, they beat us late in the season. So right. uh, it, was a, it, it was a good game for us. Um, you know, we, we started out really well. We shot the ball extremely well, which really was you know it was unusual for us we did not shoot the ball as well as we shot it um that night uh, yeah. i think we ended up being eight for nine on three pointers and uh, we were able to build a little lead going into halftime and then you know we were able to sustain our lead yeah um i think you guys were very confident going into the playing them the second time a yeah more oh yeah I, you know it's uh it, it was different for some of our kids. Uh, a lot of our kids who played had, had no district experience, and it is different playing, you know, playing a district game. I mean, it's a it's a, a bigger gym. There's more fans. Uh, right. There's a, there's a lot more on the line. So it's a. Uh, Do you think it, uh, maybe Southern's not used to that type of different facility and? I no, I, I think that they're I think they're used to it just like we are. Okay. Um, I think it's uh, I just you know it's a it's it's always a big game. Um, I know we're talking to them. One of their goals this year was to beat Madison Central. Well, so, you, know, you know, it's a uh, maybe they just set the goal for once. I don't know. <laughs> they didn't set it twice. Yeah, you know, it, it was uh, you know, like I said, the first time they played us, they played a really good game. Second game we played, I think you know, we uh, we made a few adjustments, we hit some shots, and um, you know, we were able to get a victory and. You know, I, I that a good it really picture. yeah it was That's it, an important it, one. It, it was it was important, um, and it was uh, it, it was good that our kids were able to bounce back. You know, it was only a couple of days since we had already seen them, so our kids were able to bounce back and do a few different things, and it really kind of propelled us into regional play. Yeah, yeah, with good momentum. Yeah, a lot of yeah. good momentum. So tell us talk about region then. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I thought we played. Were you uh, ready? We we oh definitely ready. Um, the, the thing with the region is every time you look the the way we schedule, um, everybody in the region, you know, besides ourselves, we had played. Okay. Um, you know. That makes it nice. Oh yeah, we're 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 going to schedule. You know, we're going to schedule everybody in the eleventh region pretty much, and uh, we don't want there to be any surprises when we play that first game. Yeah. Um, you know, we drew uh, Dunbar, who uh, lost event, who lost in the district to ended up being the 11th region champion um, Lafayette. So it was a tough draw for us. Dunbar had been in the top 25 all year long. Um, going into the first quarter, we started kind of slow. They uh, they got up on us about 9-0, and then we proceeded to run off about 10 or 12 straight points. Um, we, you know, actually traded baskets all the way into halftime, and it was 19-19 going into halftime. So we were really pleased with how our kids played. Um, Bailey O'Brien played really, really well in that game, went to the basket really, really well, did a lot, a lot, a lot of nice things. Sade Bosley did a lot defensively um, mm -hmm. against Brooke Todd, who uh, ended up being the 11th region player of the year. We ended up holding her to, uh, I think, two for 15 shooting, so I mean, that's incredible. You know, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. I, you know, Sade did an excellent, yeah. excellent job on her. So she had a you good know, year. oh, she had a great year. Coming into the second half, you know, we we led 
pretty much a, a good majority of the second half, but got into a little bit of foul trouble there in the fourth quarter where we had to take some kids out. And uh, we just uh, we, we weren't able to, to sustain a run that they gave us at the end. And, um, you know, they ended up beating us by, you know, a couple of baskets. And, uh, you know, they ended up going to the regional championship. So, right. you know, to, to look at a team that was, you know, we were the regional champions last year. And I know, a big difference in the years. Well, it was, it was a big difference, but, you, you know, we, in the first round. We, we went from regional champion to losing in the first round, but our kids played really, really well. Yeah. You know, it, it, it could have easily been a blowout, but, I mean, we're talking about a, a five- or six-point game here. Right. Um, you know, it was a low-scoring game, but it was still a five- or six-point game that right. we were in. Uh, until, until the, the you know, until the last minute or two, where you right. have to foul. And if you're going to lose, you want to lose to them. I mean, well, you want to lose. You don't want to lose. To the but you want to lose. You know, you want to. You want it to be close. You it's don't want it to team. be a blowout. Right. And you know, if they do well down the line, it makes you look a little better. I think. Right. Um, but they, you know, they had a quality team. Like I say, they were in the top 25, and uh, I, I think it really showed our kids how far we'd come from the first game yeah. all the way to the last game. Uh, probably the first of the year, they probably would have beat us by 20 points. Yeah. Um, but by the end of the year, I think we had matured a little bit. We'd grown as a team. And, yeah, uh, you definitely had progressed through the season. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a good season for us. We don't uh, – you know, our we finished 15-15, and 15, but, you know, with the kids that we lost 90% of our scoring yes. and, you know – we don't have any easy nights. We play tough you know, teams. We play tough teams. We played five teams that made the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. Um, so. And you could have played easier teams. Made your you know your record sure. a lot better. You sure. Ended up you can, fifteen and fifteen. Oh yeah, you can. You so can. I, I could have. We could have scheduled. We could have scheduled twenty wins. Yes. You know, there's there's twenty teams that we could have found, and we could have scheduled twenty wins if we'd wanted to, but. You know, we didn't shy away from anybody. You know, we, we played Ashland Blazer. They made it to the Final Four. We played Clark County. They made it to the Final Four of the state. We, you know, we played everybody in the 11th region. You name them, we played them. Yeah. Um, we, we just, uh, we've, we've always prided ourselves since I've been here on trying to play a really, really good schedule. Yeah. Number one, it's going to, you know, it encourages the kids to work hard. They know there's no easy games, and they know that they've got to work if they want to win. Right. And um, I think kind of the, the the area that I'm in here, you know, I've been doing this for 14 years. If if you don't play a difficult schedule, you're not going to be ready at the end. Right. And if you don't put yourself in tough positions, you're not going to be ready at the end. And that's one thing that, you know, in the last couple of years we've, we've always done. Um, I, you know, everybody wants to win and, and get a uh, – have a nice win-loss record, but, you know – I think I told Nathan Hutchison one year, we were 28-2. and two. We got beat in the second round of the region. I told Nathan I'd rather win 15 games and win the region. Mm -hmm. You know, and the next year and we went out. The well, the next year we went out, we won 21 games, and we won the region. Right. And You know no, what your team's made well, of then. Well, nobody cared that we won 21 games. They knew we won the region. Right. That, that's all that matters. Yeah. Getting to the Sweet 16 is all that matters. Right. Um, if you're a coach in Kentucky basketball – Getting on that big stage is it's it's, it's all that matters. The goal. It is the goal, and uh, not just for the coaches, but right. For the oh, young it's, women it's, as well. that's that's the goal that we try and set for right. our kids, and uh, it's the goal. Long term that we'll, minded. It's, it's the goal that we'll continue to try and set. Right. Overall, you got to be extremely happy with this team. If you had to sum it up, what what would you say? Well, I, I would. Number one, I think these kids worked extremely, extremely hard. Had great attitudes. Um, they did everything that we asked from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. You, one thing that I, I think really, really showed their character is there were some games, you know, like we went to Ashland Blazer. Ashland Blazer won their region, went to the Final Four this year. They put a good whipping on us at home at their place. We came back about two nights later and were very resilient, and we played one of our best games and got a win. So. Our kids didn't lay their heads down when we got beat, and you know the next game they were always ready to go. Um, and there was a there was a couple of t couple of times like that that we you know we got beat and you know we we had a.
had a losing streak, which was something we've not had in four or five yes. years. Yes, and that can um, be discouraging. Oh, you know, it can. Yeah. For especially, you're talking about 15, 16, 17 Girls. year old kids. Yes. You know, in the last, you know, last four or five years, we haven't had a two or three game losing streak. But you know, this year you look at our record, we had a a, yeah. a couple of two or three game losing streaks, and the kids still brought the effort, the intensity, and uh, executed our game plan every night. Our kids were very, very resilient. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That was the word I was going to yeah. use. Resilient. Gro growth from beginning to end was tremendous. And that's all you can ask for. Oh yeah, you know and what? that's and a bonus. It was a. Uh, you know, it was a really, really good season. Yeah. Um, we got beat by a really, really good team at the end of the year. And, uh, you know, that, that's all you can ask for is that you're in the game right. and that you've got a chance. And our kids put us in that position. Right. And I think they had a lot of fun doing it. I think so. It, it was a nice season. I think so. And we, um, you know, I think they enjoyed being around each other. Yeah. Um, I think they enjoyed playing for Madison Central. And, and that's typically what we're shooting for. We're not, you know, we're not playing for the, the name on the back of the jersey, which we don't have names on the back of the jersey, but we're, we're playing for, for Madison Central. We want to represent Madison County as, as well as we can. I think we did a really good job of that. Let's take another break, and then we'll get into talk about some seniors and what you guys are in the process of doing right now, and then maybe what you'll do this summer, some okay. camps and things like that. All so right. We'll be right back with the Coach Robbie Cooksey Show right here on MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, and by Tatum Enterprises. MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. I'm Samantha Burford here at Jack Burford Chevrolet, one of our sponsors for the coaches' shows, and we want to thank them. They've set us up a nice little studio right here for us. <laughs> it kind of works out perfect. Very so, nice. Coach Cooksey, thanks for being with us. Thank Let's you. talk about um, some of your seniors this year. Well, we had three seniors. Uh, we had Sade Bosley, uh, Haley Christian, and Bailey O'Brien. Um, all three of them were starters this year for us. Uh, Sade and Bailey have been uh, uh, starters for the past two years, and uh, Haley stepped in this year as a first-year starter, and uh, all three of them did a great job. They brought, um, number one, they brought leadership to the team. Um, you know, they have an idea of the expectations when we start um, of what the coaching staff wants and, uh, and hopefully what it means to play basketball at Madison Central. So uh, those three, uh, they did a, a really, really nice job. I was really, really proud of them. Um, Sade ended up signing a Division One scholarship with uh, Cleveland State, and uh, I know she has to be so excited. She is, and and Bailey is uh, signed, and she's going to go play uh, at Alice Lloyd. So um, that's excellent. They are, uh, they're both, uh, you know, really, really excited. Right. And we're we're always glad to have kids move on to the higher level of basketball. Right. So it's a, uh, it 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 was a, a really really good year in terms of that. Um, like I say, they they were great to work with. Uh, they they brought a lot of uh, just. A lot of positivity to the team. They know there's going to be ups and downs. Um, they've been on a team that's they've been on teams that have won. So that you know they know what it takes to go out and play winning basketball. So it was a great group of seniors to have. Yeah. So now, what are you doing this year? As far as the season's over, you know, you've given them a break. You get back together. What do you guys do? You sit down <clears> and have a team meeting and. Well, typically we'll uh, we we try and talk with each kid. 
that's individual. Uh, yeah, that's com you know what to get a gauge of whether they're going to come back and play next year right. or you know what their goals are. If they're coming back, what the what their goals are, what we would like to see them improve with, um, and then we move on to uh, you know this week we'll start open gym where uh, you, you know we can get in and we can play and do some things. Um, we'll do that basically until school's out, and then as soon as school's out, you know we 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 really hit the ground running. We're we'll, We'll play, you know, easily three to four days a week up until the dead period, which is the last week of June. Okay. So, you know, what we try and do is we'll try and get in about, you know, I say anywhere from 20 to 25 varsity games and hopefully 10 to 15 JV games. And uh, it makes for a lot of travel, but uh, it's, it's really, really it's good because the kids are really loose. It gives you a chance to go in there and, you know, you're not worried about winning and losing. Right. You want to play well, but really what you're worried about is getting kids exposure, letting them play, and uh, giving them an opportunity. Yeah. So all the kids are loose. Uh, the coaches are loose. You have a good time. You know, yeah, you're it's not, more fun. Yeah, you're not, great, you're not dressed up in a shirt and tie. You're wearing shorts right. and sandals, and, you know, yeah. it's uh, – you know, you know, we we have we have a good time in the yeah. summers. Um, we're also able to put on a camp, um, which is typically you know usually the second week of June. Of course, that may fluctuate. And you guys host it. We we will host a, a kids camp. Um, we've been doing that the last six or seven years, and uh, we typically have a really really good turnout. It's been growing each year. I think this past yeah. year we had forty young girls, so it was uh, really good. We're hoping to have more than that this right. year. And that's got to be a nice little fundraiser. As oh well, yeah, yeah. Happen. It's it's but you know really what it is is. The kids get to see the older kids. They get to see what it means to play basketball yeah. at Madison Central. And whether they're a kindergartner or whether they're a seventh grader, right. they get an, you know get an idea of our expectations and yeah. how we like to do things. But it's nice. Uh, it's nice to see the younger kids, and it's nice to see our kids interact with the younger yes. kids. Um, it puts Most them. Uh, kids look up to them. Oh yeah, and yeah, and and our, you know. Our kids don't realize it, but a lot. Some of those kids they come to games, and uh, you know they they see our girls play. Mm -hmm. You know, and wearing the jersey. Oh and... yeah, I mean they they see that stuff. So it's uh, basketball stars in their eyes. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. They they don't uh, they don't keep up with the wins and losses. They just know that when they go to a high school game, hey, that's my favorite player right there, right. and you know that's a, it's a role model for them. So it's it's nice to really do that. Um, but the month of June is, it, it's really, really packed for us. Okay. Um, after we have the dead period, we'll come back and, and we'll start working about three days a week. We, in July, we'll start doing a lot of weight work. Um, and that will carry us through all the way, you know, all the way to the beginning of school. So, um, not much time off. We get the two week dead period yeah. and really that's about it. So you said you guys travel. What, you know, a lot. So where are we some of the... Well, we'll travel to typically to different camps. We always go to Franklin County for three days. Okay. We go to Woodford County for a couple of days. We'll go to Boyle County for a couple of days. This year we're going to go to Shelby County um, twice. So, um, you know, you may go to, you know, like I say, we'll go to Shelby County two or three days and... You know, it's it's a it's a lot of travel, but you know the kids get to spend a lot of time together, mm -hmm. and uh, I think some it's good a, bonding in the summer. It is. It's a uh, it's much much different than regular yeah. season basketball. Yeah, not nearly as serious. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> a lot more fun and yeah. more fun for you guys. Yeah, too. you know, you can really you can interact more with the kids. It's not as uh, it's not as high stress. It's yeah. not as um, you know you, you don't have to. You can you can sometimes you can make you, you can make it. it. It's just I don't know. Is there? It's more of a it's more of a laid back atmosphere. Yeah. I think. Now, do any of them come to you at any time, especially in the summer, and go, Coach? You know, I, I really I know you put me in this position. Do, can you try me over here, or do they? Well, we typically, they? you know, if kids ask us that, you know, if it's something that we think is feasible, you know, we can right. try it. Especially yeah. in the summer is a good time to try. Right. That's what I was um, thinking. You know, one of the benefits of the summer is you get a chance to put tons of different lineups and different combinations of kids. See if it all works. And, and see what works and what doesn't yeah. work. And, you know, it doesn't really matter what the score, you know, some of the places they reset the clock and it doesn't really matter what the score is. Yeah. You get a chance to see what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what is a possibility for the next year, what's not a possibility for the next year. It's really a, and it's a good time to, to work on the stuff that you do every year mm -hmm. 
and uh, you know get the kids acquainted to your system offensively and defensively but it's a chance to do some new things also right well coach before we close it out do you want any last minute things you want to say or um not really like Just i said looking I was, forward to I, a new season. We're, we're looking forward to a new season really really proud of the kids we had last year yeah. and uh you know looking forward to carrying on the madison center tradition next year well coach great job on such a successful season thank you and we're looking forward to Doing it all again next year. Oh, yeah. We'll be ready. Thanks for being with us. All right. Thanks. All right. I'm Samantha Burford with Coach Robbie Cooksey, and thanks for watching MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Your look at local school sports. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, and by Tatum Enterprises. Hello everybody, I'm David Sullivan. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started.
We look forward to hearing from you soon. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talked a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. So they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I. And we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. So as you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full-service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at madisonhvacr.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. 